Welcome to The Creative Influencer, where we discuss all things creative with an emphasis on influencers. The Creative Influencer is hosted by John Pfeiffer. John is an entertainment attorney in Santa Monica, California, who represents influencers and other creatives. This is Minnesota 11 of the seventh season of the Creative Influencer Podcast. Today, we'll discuss the parties to an influencer brand deal. What can there be to talk about? It's an agreement between the brand and the influencer, right? Well, it's not always that simple. There are times when the agreement is just between the brand and the influencer. When that happens, I make sure the contract contains the influencer's correct legal name. It's not enough to use the influencer's Instagram or YouTube handle or username. It must be my client's legal name. Many times, a brand will work with an advertising agency to contract with the influencer. When that happens, payment to the influencer will be delayed because the agency rarely pays the influencer before it receives money from the brand. That said, when an agency is involved, the agreement will state something like, quote, this influencer services agreement is made and entered into as of January 17th, 2024, by and between the advertising agency, OBO, the brand. The OBO means on behalf of the brand. Now, as an influencer builds a following and does more brand deals, many of them, or their lawyers on their behalf, form loan-out companies. Loan-out companies are the companies formed to enter into contracts on the influencer's behalf. The influencer becomes a shareholder or employee of the corporation, and the corporation, quote, loans out the services of the shareholder slash employee. Loan out companies also provide some measure of protection from lawsuits, but that is a topic for another episode. Now, if a brand enters into an agreement with an influencer who has a loan out company, the agreement will state something like, quote, this agreement is between brand and ABC Inc., FSO influencer. The FSO means for services of the influencer. There is also another reason to use a lowdown company. Virtual influencers. Virtual influencers are influencers created by artificial intelligence. While they can be programmed to do anything, they can't enter into contracts. Only humans or legal entities can do that. Virtual influencers do not have the capacity to enter into a contract. But the creator of the virtual influencer can use a loan-out company to contract with the brand. Legal problem solved. Now, a final word about the use of loan-out companies. When one is used, a brand generally requires an inducement letter. An inducement letter is signed by the influencer confirming that she will be providing the services agreed by her loan-out company. In our next minisode, we'll continue our deep dive into influencer agreements and look at compensation and payment. That's it for this time. If you enjoyed our podcast, please write a review on iTunes and tell your friends to subscribe. If you have any questions about influencers or suggestions for future episodes, email them to john at pfeifferlaw.com. Thank you for listening.